So now it's time to upload your book. It's all done. I have my cover here and over here I have all of my pages and everything's ready. If your preview is looking a little pixely uh, like it is here, um, you can right click on your artboard and go to display performance and choose high quality display. And that's going to show you a better preview of how the book will look when it's printed. So I'm ready to go. Let's go to file and back to the book creator. This is your doorway into everything. You're always going to go here um, to edit your books and to upload your book. So before we um, before we upload it, we want to do a couple things and we want to go through sort of a pre-flight here. So I'm going to go back to my document and I want to look down here and make sure that I don't have any errors. So pre-flight is the name that we, the sort of process that we go through before we send something to print uh, as graphic designers. And I can see down here I have an error. So you want to really make sure that if you go to your links panel that all of your images are linked and show up. So we can see that this one isn't. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to find the file and relink it. So that link seemed to have gone uh, missing with InDesign. So now I can look down here and I can see that I don't have any errors and I'm going to go back here and I'm going to upload my book. Make sure that you're logged in to Blurb. If you're not, it's just going to ask you for your username and password, so no big deal. Um, I have chosen to add an ISBN code to the back of my book, so that's all correct. And what's going to happen now, it's just going to prompt you through a whole bunch of saving the document and exporting the PDF. So you can see it's putting the ISBN number on the cover and it's going to tell me that I've passed the local pre-flight, which is awesome. So it's going to now give you the PDFs, which is going to upload to print. So this is another place that you can check your documents and you can go through here and see that everything is how it should be and I'm pretty happy with this so I'm gonna go back to this dialog box and I'm gonna say yeah let's upload it so it's going to ask you for your username and password if you're not logged in so there we go and now it's going to upload the pages and upload the cover document to blurb.com. When this is all uploaded, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the website, you're going to go to blurb.com and preview these documents, the full documents before you upload them. Their preview is really, really good and it's going to show you visually any uh, problems that you might have. So auto automatically opened up the website and you can click order from here but I would suggest that you not do that and instead you go down here and you basically um, preview your book so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my dashboard instead and the book that I just uploaded is here and it's still sort of working on it so the preview is not fully formed yet I'm gonna click on the preview button and like I said before, it's very important that you sort of go through and make sure that what you, in this preview, it looks the way that you want it to look. And you can see that it gives you a really, really nice preview and you can just page through uh, all of the pages that you have and look for any problems or errors that you have. And if you're happy with this book, then you can go ahead and click on buy and Order your book.